Machines Lab. In today's session, we are going to perform practical on synchronous motor. And aim of the experiment is to plot V and inverted V curve of a synchronous motor. Up till now, whatever practicals we have performed, we have performed on alternator. Okay. Now this is the practical we are going to perform on synchronous motor. We know that motor takes electrical energy and gives you mechanical energy. And particularly, we are going to plot here V curve and inverted V curve. Now V curve is the curve which is plotted between field current and armature current. And inverted V is the curve is the curve which is plotted between field current and power factor. So same, we are going to find out power factor. We are going to change the field current and accordingly we are going to measure armature current and power factor. And hence we will plot it. So I will first of all explain you the connections here because the connections are quite different here. Firstly, we are going to give electrical supply to synchronous motor. So from here, the mains, mains are coming here. So from here, the input is given to dimmer stat. And the output of the dimmer stat is taken out. Now this is input R by B. This is 440 input is given to the input of the dimmer stat. And output of the dimmer stat is taken out. So this will give us variable input. So the output of the dimmer stat is connected to synchronous motor stator. But through the power factor meter and ammeter. Okay, so R is given to uh, C1 of this uh, power factor meter, C1 and M1 is shorted and L1 is connected to R through this ammeter. L1 is connected to ammeter's first terminal and ammeter's second terminal is connected to, so this is connected to R of the synchronous motor. Similarly, C2 will be connected to Y, this is the output of the Riemann stat which is connected to C2. C2 and M2 is shorted and L2 is connected to Y of the synchronous motor. Similarly, B of the supply is connected to C3, C3 and M3 is shorted and L3 will be connected to B of the synchronous motor. This is how the connections of uh, power factor is done. This is how the connection of power factor meter is done here. Okay, neutral, yes, neutral you will be connecting, this is a supply neutral and that is connected to that neutral. So this is how the neutral is also connected. Now let's come to the field circuit part of it. Field circuit will be exactly same as the alternator with the only difference that you are going to use 0 to 5 ampere ammeter here because the ammeter ampere range goes beyond 1 ampere here. So positive is connected to this fixed terminal, negative is connected to this fixed terminal, okay. And the variable terminal is taken, connected to ammeter and through an ammeter it is given to field circuit F and FF it is going back to negative. This is how field circuit is connected. Okay. Now in this practical, this practical can be performed in two ways, one at no load, another at load. So this practical we are going to perform on no load. Suppose if we want to connect the load, then there is a generator which is mechanically coupled with synchronous motor and when we load the generator, the synchronous motor gets loading. But here we are not doing the loaded part, we are doing the no load connection part. Okay. So simply what we will do, now this was all the connection, this was all about the connection. Now what we are going to do, we are going to start the three phase supply with the help of dimmer stat. We are going to give supply through the dimmer stat. So first of all we will give 70% of the voltage to the uh, synchronous motor. So you know that how synchronous motor starts, when you start synchronous motor, it starts as an induction motor. So with the help of dimmer stat, the synchronous motor will start as induction motor and then what we will give, we will give field excitation to it. Once we give the field excitation, then there will be locking between the magnetic field, rotating magnetic field and rotor and hence your synchronous motor will start running as synchronous motor. Okay, once it is done, we will set the voltage to 440 volts because previously we just gave 70% of the volt. So we will set it to 440 volts, uh, 415 volts and then we will perform the practical. So after that we will slowly change the field current. As the field current will change, you will get the change in armature current and power factor and that is what you are going to then note down. Clear? Okay. You can start. So we have started the three phase uh, main supply and the demo stat will be so adjusted that we will be giving 70% of the voltage to the synchronous motor. Now 
अगर लॉकडाउन में भी अगर आपको लॉकडाउन समझ में आई होगी कि मैं इस बात पहले भी समझ गई थी सो नाउ बिकॉज यू कैन सी द चेंज इन वॉइस ऑफ द मोटर प्रीवियसली वो स्पैनिंग इन सी विथ लेसर स्पीड इंडक्शन एज अ with lesser speed than in uh, synchronous speed but now after the key excitation it is running with the synchronous speed so that's how you can uh, hear the change in the sound of motor all right now it will start only that you can please hold it for Thank you. 